Hey guys, I'm Tony from Tony's Professional Touch, based out of San Marino, California. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how we handle the winter. All right, Tony, we all wanna know, man, is this the middle of December, gonna be Christmas soon? Uh-huh. How's business right now, man? Uh, it's slowed down a bit. It's yeah. been a lot of rain and stuff. Like it rained Tuesday, huh, all day? Yeah. How are you dealing with the rain compared to other years? Like, did you already know what to expect, or is this something new? No, I already knew it was like, it's supposed to rain every once in a while during December and January, sometimes February. So I already know like, around this time, I either like to have like a little vacation or um, work on other things that need to be worked on, like our social media or our website, um, promotions, ads, um, talking back and forth with customers, um, things like that. Yeah. Just working on other things. So what you working on now? Um, right now we're trying to get our website up and running right and then switching over to Square, so another a new platform. And then uh, um, to take payments? Yeah, to take payments. Where are you going from? From Setmore. And um You don't well, like it? Setmore we use for like appointments and stuff and it was cool. Um but we're I'm I'm just switching over to Square. It's kinda seems a bit easier to have everything in all in one place. So appointments, accepting payments, um, plus the credit cards is a bonus for clients and customers. Hey Tony. Mm -hmm. So I would like to know, man, if there's a detailer out there, first year in the game, never has done winter, mm -hmm. what advice can you give them? If you have money for promotions, I'd say do some like ads, um, post as much as you can on Google, Instagram, Yelp, Facebook, whatever platforms you're on. Try to get on all platforms. Uh, really focus on boosting your content for sure. Try to get your name more out there. And during the winter or, or yeah, overall? Overall, but more during the winter because that's when you're going to have most of your free time. So during the summer, you're going to be too busy to be doing that uh, mm -hmm. most of the time. And if you're not, well, then same, try to just, uh, when you're not busy, I'd say just boost as much content as you can. Try to get your name out there as much as possible and uh, let your friends know, your family members know, see if they can help you out with sharing to their friends and their family members and just all that. So pretty much grow your social media. Yeah, you as have much a lot as you of can. free time get content, yep. maybe learn something new. Now, what type of content do you post on your Instagram? Pictures, videos, reels? Um, all three, um, for the most part, during this time, I'm trying to focus more on like multiple pictures and videos. And right now I'm only focusing on Instagram and Google um, and YouTube also. But um, I do wanna get more into like reels and TikTok, um, but probably later on. I don't really have enough um, content for that right now. But those are, TikTok and Reels are good platforms since they're a little bit easier to grow on. And the type of content you get, is it like just one picture for one car? Do you try getting multiple pictures? Pictures and videos, how do you do it? So when I do my Instagram posts, I usually try to maximize the amount of posts. So it'd be like around 10 pictures, at least five, um, when I'm showing like a detail. And then I try to give a really good description of what we've done to the vehicle. Um, and then, at, up at the bottom of the description are info so if anyone wants to book though they'll, they'll just dm us and then that's about it for our instagram post hey tony so you looked at the forecast mm -hmm. it's gonna rain all week next week for the most part yeah as of right now it's showing tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so have you hit up your customers yet or are you gonna wait a couple days um i usually let them know i'm like hey next week it's supposed to rain do you want to still get it done or reschedule and for today everyone's still on so we have four cars today and everyone's still they're fine with it and then we have more cars on saturday and i'll have to ask them on, yeah. i'll ask them on tomorrow and see if they still want to get it done on saturday or if they want to reschedule for after next week Damn, so next week for sure nothing for the most part, no, but we can still try to book in like headlight restoration, um, corrections, coatings, polishes, full interiors, things like that. We can still book in, uh, but most of the time people don't want to really get them done anyway, so it's just it's dependent. Got you, man. And then where do you do all these polishes and this and that? Uh, at our shop in Grand Terrace, a shop that um, our business partner lets us use. <laughs> Would you say that is more idea during the winter, see if you could get a spot? Yeah. to do additional jobs yeah definitely yeah a lot of the clients usually don't have um a garage or if they do have a garage it's filled with uh like they use it as storage instead of vehicle um to store in their vehicle so yeah for the most part try to get a, a shop if you can that way in case someone does want to get your services you can have somewhere to do it or maybe turn their garage into the little shop too right yeah if, if they have one available that'd be a good idea hey tony uh -huh. so this is gonna be your third winter Detailing, yep. right? Pretty much. What? When does it start picking up again, man? 
Um, January or? I'd say like February and March. Uh, yeah. Starts picking up really good because it's around like tax season and stuff. Yeah. So everyone just starts balling out during that time. So pretty much all the details have to tough it out till then? Um, not all of them, but I'd say probably like at least 60 to 70 percent of them. After March, it starts picking up a lot, mm -hmm. but I heard summer is when like, oh, like you gotta be ready summer. Yeah, pretty much. It gets really, really busy during summer. Nobody really wants to do their cars when it's like super hot. Mm -hmm. So that's when all the detailers come in, so have to do all that work. And how do you handle the, the heatness? Like, do you try starting super early and finishing early or do you just tough it out all day? Um, I'll just tough it out all day. Me personally, I'll just wear like hats and then um, they make like arm covers for like UV protection and stuff. And then the hat that I wear has like a cover around it. Um, so I'm pretty much all covered and then I will always wear pants for, for the most part. And then I do sweat a lot, but it is what it is. I'll just take it. <laughs> hey, Tony, mm -hmm. you mentioned that uh, it was super cold today that the top of the what, what happened? The top of the vehicles had like ice on it, and then when we we're like renting it down, it would just turn to ice on the on top parts. Wait, customer vehicle? Yeah. Damn. So, how, what precautions do you have to take as a detailer during the winter? Is there any? Um, like, I'm sure things aren't freezing, right? It wasn't freezing, but it did take a while for the pressure washer to turn on. It probably took me like 15 minutes to get it to turn on, um, and then I had to let it warm up. Yeah. Um, also, you don't want to wash the vehicles if the, if the water's turned into ice or the foam also turns to ice if it's too cold. Um, so you got to wait it out a little bit until it heats, it gets a little bit warmer. That way you can um, start scrubbing down the vehicle because you don't want to scrub while the ice is on there. That's friction, you're scratching the paint. So um, there's those two things. Sometimes if it's really, really cold, your hoses can get um, like, ice, like ice in them. The water can turn to ice in your hoses and then not, like water won't flow through and you won't be able to, like your pump can get messed up. Um, Has that ever happened to you? No, not to me, but I've seen it happen to other detailers. Yeah. And what do you do in that situation? Just wait? You have to basically wait. If you have a heat gun or something like that, put the heat gun on there. Um, just try to loosen up the water. All right, guys. So that's what we do during the winter. There you got, have some tips there. Um, make sure you guys comment down below what you guys do during the winter. And if you guys have any more tips, let us know. And if you like this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.